I'm getting weird looks videoing myself in the store, but honestly, in China, what else is new? Hi, my name is Matt, and I live in Guangzhou, China. Um, I want to do this grocery store vlog because I really think it's a cool way to see the differences between the grocery stores like back where I'm from in the United States and the different places that I go to. Um, I think it really shows like what the average person like buys and eats and things. Um, so this is Aeon. It's a huge, it's probably the biggest grocery store in my district of Wadu. Um, it's a big three-story building with uh, the first floor having groceries and the second and third floors having like home goods and kids clothes. Um, so right when you walk in, there's this huge produce section, and there's a bunch of like typical fruits and vegetables like tomatoes and apples and onions and things like that. But then there's also uh, more unique things like this durian fruit. It's like as big as your head, even bigger, and it has a very distinct smell. If you know anything about durian, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but then there's also other things like um, this green gourd that I don't even know the name of and different vegetables and uh, fruits that I really don't know the name of. Um, but I guess are common enough here and eaten enough here that they're sold um, regularly. And then also another thing that's interesting about this grocery store is there's a huge unpackaged area. So here they sell things like teas and uh, nuts and different spices that you can pick as much as as much or as little as you want. Um, and they they uh, sell it by by weight. <laughs> there's uh, this whole entire um, fresh produce area and I think that really shows like how Chinese people like to cook. Um, they really like to use a lot of fresh um, vegetables and fresh proteins and uh, a bunch of different spices in their traditional cooking. <laughs> Tea. So this whole section here is uh, fresh produce, fresh products. So like I said, uh, in the front was the produce, and then there's the spices and teas and things in the unpackaged area. And then um, towards the back, there's a meat section and has everything from whole fish to uh, different beef cuts and duck and chicken and different meats that are processed in the store itself. And here is the prepackaged section. So it has like hams and different sausages and different things that you can buy. Um, so this is a cheese section. Cheese is not really used much in traditional Chinese cooking. And that is shown by the lack um, of cheese in the store. There's this one small section and it's actually pretty expensive. So for one pack of 10 processed cheese slices, it's like almost four US dollars, which is pretty expensive for me. Um, and oppositely, Chinese people love their steamed buns, and that's especially true here in the south of China. So they have an entire wall full of these steamed bun prepackaged, and then two, probably about 15 foot long floor refrigerators entirely full of these steamed buns, and they have both savory and sweet. So the savory has different meats and veggies, and the sweet has like things like taro or red bean or different things like that inside the steam bun, and it's like bread. Um wrapped around that filling on the inside and like I said they're very popular here in China um, when I worked at the school um, that I was previously we would have them for like breakfast and things they really like to put out steam buns for breakfast as far as dairy they have an actually big section uh, not including the cheese the cheese is a small section but for like other dairy they have uh, refrigerated and boxed milk they have yogurt and also they have the little uh, drinks that help with the digestion with the good bacteria in them as far as noodles and pastas they have a good bit of like the actual noodles but as for the sauces they have um, not a huge selection I think it's because in China, if they're going to cook noodles and eat noodles, they're going to put it in a soup base with like a broth instead of a saucy uh, tomato or alfredo base. Um, but 
they have a huge selection of ramen with every flavor that you can think of. It takes up an entire aisle and it's very cheap. It's probably about three to six kwai or about 50 cents to a dollar for just for one of the buckets here. Um, and like I said, any flavor. And for the sauces, they have a large selection of sauces. My favorite is the Heinz ketchup, but they also have different like spicy um, sauces and things for like meat and sandwiches and things. Um, so this store has is a bigger store, so it's going to have some of the brands that I'm used to um, back in the States. Uh, for example, they have these Oreos, but here in China, they're going to put their own kind of flair on it. So they have these uh, special flavors here. Um, so there's like the autumn flavor and there's lemon and there is a peach flavor that I'm going to show soon. Yeah, here's the peach flavor. Um, and they also have the pink and green one. I believe it's cherry blossom and matcha flavor. Um, and then going on into the candy section, like I said, this is a bigger store, so it's going to have some Western brands. Um, as for candy, they have things that I'm used to, like Twix and M&Ms and uh, Snickers. One thing they don't have here is Reese's, and it makes me really sad because I love Reese's. It's my favorite candy, and I haven't found it in anywhere in China, so I guess that they don't really like it here. Um, but they also have different Chinese candies, um, and the Chinese candies really focus on, like, fruits. They don't really tend to focus on, like, the heavier chocolates and things like American candy and um, Western candy does. And here's the alcohol section, and I only filmed this one little area, but it's actually a pretty big um, section of the store. They have mostly wine and beer, but also they have a small area for the hard liquors like uh, rice wine and other liquors like that. Um, and then lastly, they have this colorful cherry blossom decorated area. The cherry blossom is because it's spring right now, um, but it's the discount section. It's right before you get to the register, right? If you see something really cheap, you pick it up and put it in your basket. Um, but it's just like different things that they want to get rid of, like candy and toilet paper and uh, different sauces that they don't really want. This was my grocery store vlog in a grocery store in China. And I hope it showed some of the differences and similarities between grocery stores back where I'm from in the United States and here in China. They have some similar brands, but also most of the things that are here are going to be Chinese brands. Um, and they also have some English stuff, some things in English, or at least partially in English. Um, but mostly it's going to be all in Chinese, so which makes grocery shopping interesting. It's either a guessing game or you translate. But yeah, I hope it was informative, and I hope that it showed you what it's like to be in a grocery store in China. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.